Okay, we're back to play box four of the Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle Monster Box, box of Monsters expansion. Um, I've set everything up. There's no difference in our heroes. There's no difference in the proficiencies. Uh, kept that the same from last game. We don't get anything new as well. We do have some new cards in here, which if they come up, I'll show you. We have new tasks. We actually have four locations that we're trying to keep. So we'll point that out if we go to any other ones. Hopefully we won't. We have a new Lord Voldemort, which when we get to him, I'll show you. If we don't get to him, I'll show you at the end to see what was different about him. Hopefully we'll get to him and get to see him. Um, he has Nagini with him. Um, to keep that in mind. So it's going to have a extra stuff we got to do. It's going to be even harder. Uh, the tasks that we're working on here, um, the theme of this is basically the Triwizard Tournament. Um, and you're going to be fighting the creatures and stuff from that. Because that's kind of one of the parts of the uh, books and movies that has the most creatures. So we'll be doing tasks associated with that. And the first task here is whenever a hero assigns two or more damage to a villain or creature, that hero loses two health. So if I do a lot of damage to one thing, I will take damage. To complete this, I have to acquire items with a total value of at least seven in one turn. So I have to buy a bunch of stuff. And they have to be items. Good thing is we have items out here. The bad thing is we're never going to start off with enough money to do that. So we have to make some money first. We're going to start with Harry again. He has one, two, three, four Alohomoros and a Hedwig. So let's flip over the Dark Arts, or dark arts card. Dark Arts for this is Seriously Misunderstood Creatures. Roll the monster die. We've got the card. Uh, all heroes discard a card. Um, Harry is going to discard a money because he'll be able to buy Hogwarts of History for three because of his power anyway. Ron is possibly going to discard, he's going to have to discard Pigwidgeon because he needs the money to buy something. Right now everything costs four or more and he doesn't have enough money to buy them um, with that being the case. Um, because each of us had to discard a card from the Dark Arts card, we each lose a health from Crab and Goyle. And now we are looking at the task. I haven't done enough damage, but if I do it, each time a hero requires a card with crosses four or more, um, I here lose one health. And if we, if we add a token, Draco's gonna make us uh, take some damage. So we have three money and one damage token we can take. We'll take that damage token and apply it to uh, Dolores and take the three money, which is going to give us four buying power for Hogwarts of History, which is gonna take one damage from Dolores to buy it. We'll draw back up, which is gonna be his um, visibility cloak, firebolt, etc. So we'll put that there. Fill in that. It's another owl. That's good. That's going to give us money. That's going to give us cash, which is nice. It's Ron's turn. Active hero discards a card and add a token to the location. Now the problem is now we're discarding a card. We won't be able to buy anything. Um, so pretty much that's a waste of Ron's turn. But he'll discard, take a damage because of Crab and Goyle, add a token to the location, which makes him take. Um, uh, two more damage because of Draco, and he gets three bucks, not have to buy anything. Ron's turn is over. Uh, draw back up. So that was a very, um, very bad start to this game for, for Ron. Hopefully we'll be able to come back from that. Transformed. Active hero discards a card and then puts a detention in their hands. So Harry's going to discard... He's in the same boat, he needs the four money, so he's going to discard the Firebolt. He's not going to do any damage. Takes the detention, put it in his hand. We have one, two, three, four. And since we discarded a card, we take one damage. And we have one, two, three, four money. Um, we're going to buy Luna Lovegood because I can get her for a discount with the four money that I would be making. Um, that is in turn going to uh, mean that we take a damage from Dolores because we bought a card that was four or more. And then we'll shuffle our deck. So that's pretty much all that we've done so far is buy a couple of cards. Um, it's going to be how this is going to go most likely, especially early on, because we have to buy a lot of stuff, money making, so we can do that. Um, and then we've drawn that detention, which is going to be a problem to get rid of. Okay, so there we go. Let's refill this. Hopefully there's a low cost card in here. Okay, repair it's a three cost card. That's actually really good because it's going to give us some cash as well. Acromantula attack. All heroes reveal the top card of their deck. Heroes that reveal a card, card with no value, discard it, and lose a health. So Harry's going to reveal that. It's a five. He actually revealed Luna, so that means uh, he takes no damage from that. But Ron has to shuffle his deck. He's going to reveal uh, Birdie Bots, which means he's going to have to discard that. 
and lose a health and lose another because he had to discard that card. Uh, there we go. We have one, two, three, four money and the clean sweep, which is going to give us one damage token. We're going to apply to Dolores. That four money we're going to spend to get an owl. And that'll be his turn. I'll draw back up. Which means we have to shuffle again. There we go. And we got a bunch of money and a paper pigeon. So that's hopefully going to be good for us there. Now it's back to Harry. Akira loses a health and discards a card. Lose a health, then lose another health because of Crab and Goyle when I discard a card. That card that I'm going to discard is going to have to be... Detention, I think, and lose two health. Because I need the money to be able to buy something. So if I can't buy anything, it's worthless. Um, so one, two, three. And I'm going to roll the Ravenclaw die. I'm going to re-roll it. It's money. So it's money for Ron and Harry, and I have three other money for my Alohomora, so that's four bucks. That four dollars is gonna have to be spent to get Ginny, I think. Which means I take another damage from Dolores. Draw back up. One, two, three, four, five. And let's see what we get from, let's flip these over actually. Let's see what we can get from Ron's turn now. Got to roll the die again, the monster die. Oops, let's fill this card in first. And it is remove one from all. So basically we're healing the monsters. Um, nothing else triggered that time, so that's good at least. We have one, two, three, four money and a pigwidgeon. With the four money, I think I will take owls. Actually, I have five money. Excuse me, I have four money plus my one that's over here. So with that five money, I'm gonna buy Expecto Patronum. Doesn't really give me any money, but I, I need to be able to do some stuff to kind of save myself. So I think what we're gonna do here, and we take a damage from Dolores. The thing we're gonna do here is I can get two health back, which I think I'm gonna do. The one damage isn't that big of a deal right now because we're not really taking anybody down. And we don't want to get stunned very very early in the game. All right, it's Harry's turn again. Centaur attack. All heroes that have three or more spells in hand lose one health. Well, that's Harry, so he's gonna be um, knocked out. He's stunned, Ron is okay, he's only got two. So Harry's stunned, which means he's gotta discard two cards. He's gonna discard the Alohomoras. He's gonna to have to put a token because he got stunned. Um, that's going to trigger, but it doesn't matter. Um, none of these are going to matter to him because he's already down um, and can't take any more damage. So we can at least do Harry's turn without any sort of um, future issues. So one, two, three money. I played an item, which is the cloak, so I get to take a damage token. And I get to roll the Ravenclaw die thanks to Luna. And we'll get to draw a card for both players. I think we'll do that because we want to get more cards into Ron's hand and hopefully some more money. Uh, we got Pigwidgeon, or excuse me, we have Hedwig, sorry, Hedwig. Um, I think we'll take the damage, because we can't heal anyway, we're already stunned. We'll apply both of the damage tokens to Dolores. With the three dollars that we have, um, I think we're going to take the Reparo, which will give us two dollars or draw a card when we use it. That's going to be all for Harry's turn. He's going to draw back up. And we, of course, will refill the slot there. We hadn't bought uh, items of seven or more, of course, because we don't even have seven dollars currently for any of our players, so that hasn't happened yet. One, two, three. And then we've got a good hand of cards to come up for him next. And again, Ron's got a bunch of cards in his hand because we were able to draw from Luna. All right, let's see what the Dark Arts gives us. All here is with the lowest health, and uh, that goes back to 10. Lose two, and that did not stun anyone. Um, that hasn't happened, there's no discard, I haven't bought anything worth more money, and that hasn't happened there. So I gained two dollars, three dollars, four dollars, five dollars, six dollars, a damage token, a damage token, and a health. So two damage tokens, and I think I said one, two, three, four, five, six, money. So 
So with that six money, could buy Grip Hook, which would draw three cards discarding two. Each item discarded this way would give you two money. I could do Advanced Potion, making all heroes gain two health, then each hero at maximum health gains one damage and draws a card. Or I could buy Sirius, which I think I will do is buy Sirius. He's gonna give me a lot of damage tokens. I have two damage tokens to apply. We'll apply them to Dolores and hopefully get her done soon. We'll refill that. The ally there is Argus Filch and Mizanorus. Draw two cards, then choose one. Discard any one card or banish a card in your hand. Um, so I get to draw two cards and then I have to either discard a card or banish a card. Which is pretty awesome actually, especially I'm getting a lot of detentions. All right, got some Alohomoras, Specto, Patrono, and Sirius in our hand. So that's a really good hand. Let's see what we can do for Harry's turn. Active Hero chooses another hero to lose two health. Well, that's gotta be Ron. We reveal another card. All heroes lose two health and cannot gain health this turn. So that means that we're gonna stun Ron, which is unfortunate because we have to take a token, put it here, and do damage to Harry because of um, uh, Draco. Um, so Draco did that. We need to discard two cards. For Ron, he's going to back the 10 for the next round. And for Harry's turn, we get one money, two money, and a damage token with Ginny and Aloha Mora. We'll do a Firebolt to get another da um, damage token. Let's do Luna to get a money and a damage token because we played an item and roll the Ravenclaw die and see what we can get there. Let's reroll. We don't want the health. Okay, well, we'll give a money to each player. Not that great. I've now got four money. Yeah, I could get six, but I couldn't buy seven value items, which would have been great if I could have done that with something that maybe let us roll uh, die. But I don't have enough for that. So I have six money or four money and a, do a draw a card. I think I'll draw the card and see what we get. Got a little more, so that's going to be five money. Um, with the five money, I think we'll buy Argus Filch because we're going to be getting these detention cards. We don't want that to hurt us too much. We also have three damage tokens, which is going to be two, four, five, oh. Let's wait. Hang on a second. Let's backtrack this. I completely forgot that if I can take her out, which I would. I know I'm backtracking, I know I'm kind of cheating in that case, but uh, hopefully you'll forgive me. Um, I had one, two, three, four, five bucks. I could get, it'd be one, two, three, four, because I rolled that, so that's have four. If I defeat a villain, I get another dollar, so I will defeat Dolores. So I'll spend two of my damage in that. All heroes gain another dollar and two health. Got two, four, five. I would have seven if I used Repero for its money. I think I'll do that. So that's seven. It's still not enough to be able to buy what I need from that. But I could buy the Immobilus and Fitch. So, Fitch. so I'll do that. And I'll reply that one damage that I have to Draco. Uh, I know I kind of backtracked that, but playing these solo, um, I kind of, since I'm trying to talk through everything I'm doing, um, sometimes I can kind of miss a couple of things. And when I notice them, I try to go back and fix that. So I apologize for replaying that a little bit. Hopefully you understand that it was in order to kind of get the correct best play. Um, new villain we have is the Commonwealth Green Dragon. Each time a new creature is revealed, all heroes lose two health. Um, it's eight damage, all heroes gain two, two money if we beat it. So this is only going to matter when new creatures come out. So if I can take care of it before anything new comes out, it doesn't really do anything at all, um, which is good to know. It's got a lot of damage it takes, but we can kind of leave Draco and the Crab and Goyle out there and go to take out him instead. Um, so let's start Ron's turn. All heroes reveal the top card of their deck. 
Um, I actually remember, I think I couldn't have did it. Yeah, can I gain health? So I shouldn't have gained that health um, from Dolores. So I fixed that as well. Oh, here's a real top card of the deck. Here's a real card with a value of one or more. Discard it and lose two health. Well, that's okay for Ron. And that was okay for Harry. So we're okay there. Whenever you deal two or more damage, um, oh, I should have taken two damage there for doing the damage to Dolores. And I think Ron might have gotten hurt earlier than that, but that's okay. We'll, we'll just go with what we are right now. So I've got one money, two damage, and one money. So that's going to be two damage tokens and two money tokens added because of Sirius and Alohomora. Got an Aspecto Patronum, which is a damage token. We're going to move one token from the location, which by doing so will at least give both of our characters one health back. We don't really get anything from that. Um, I'm going to assign three damage. If you assign three or more on your turn, all heroes gain health. So I'm going to do all of that damage to the Commonwealth screen. And I've got four money for Ron to spend. I think that four money is going to go into buying the Owls card. He's starting getting a lot of money making cards in his deck, which is good. Um, hopefully we'll be able to use that money in one big turn and take care of the encounter. Bezoar come out. Okay, so let's see what we have for Harry's turn. The previous hero loses one of these cards a card, so that means that Ron's going to discard a card, which means he's going to take a damage from Crab and Goyle. And of course he's going to discard an old Hamora. And I assigned two or more. I should have lost two health from that as well because of that. All right, one, two, three, four money for Harry. And I get to roll a Hogwarts uh, house die. I'll roll the Ravenclaw. I'm going to re-roll the Ravenclaw, and we'll each draw a card. So Harry drew an Aloha Mora, but Ron now has five cards in his hand again. That's $5 for Harry's turn. None of these let me re-roll or roll die, so let's buy the Bezoar. And no damage we can deal, so that's all for Harry. One, two, three, four. Must shuffle his deck again. Let's see what we get. Alright, there's this fifth card. And we have an Alohomora Hedwig, a Detention Alohomora, and Invisibility Cloak. Let's refill that. It is a, a promo. It's the Eye of Rabbit, Harp String Hum, Turn This Water Into Rum from Seamus' spell um, thing. It's lose a health but gain um, four money. So that's a way to get a bunch of cash. If we choose to buy it, of course. It's Ron's turn. Oh, here is there's a health for each card in hand with the value of exactly three. Well, we don't have any value cards in Ron's deck or hand, and the same thing for Harry. So we actually have starter cards, none of that matters. Not assigning that yet, we haven't discarded any cards, there's no new creature, and we haven't put any of those there. So one, two, three, um, we'll take a damage token, and we'll apply um, the every flavored beans, which is gonna give us four money total, and two damage tokens, because we played our Pigwidgeon. Um, those two damage tokens will apply to We don't want to take the two damage, so we'll put one on each of these characters. Um, so we don't take damage. We're going to use the four money that we have to buy Chocolate Frog and Turgio. Have to shuffle again. So we have Owls, Clean Sweep, and what else do we have? Uh, Turgio, Turgio, Pigwidgeon, and a little more. Okay, back to Harry's turn. We have the next hero loses two. Add a token to the location, which gives us two damage from Draco. Actually, I want to take one because we have an invisibility cloak. Keep forgetting that. One, two, three money, and we can do something with Hedwig. A damage token or two health. I think we'll just take the damage token put it on the green. That three money that we have we'll spend on Priori Incantatum, which is choose a spell if you played you have played this turn, you may play a copy of the effects of that spell, which is 
at least going to a copy in Aloha Moor, most likely, which is not bad. Could be worse. All right, got a couple of allies, and we got some cards there. Okay, refill this. And Dementor's Kiss. Active hero loses one, and the other hero loses two. If we assign, we haven't done any of those other things. Okay. The uh, Tergio is going to give us a dollar. I'm not going to banish anything. The Aloha Moor is going to give us another dollar. The Owls are going to give us two more dollars. And because we played two or more spells, we gain a health and a damage token. We're going to gain a damage token for the Clean Sweep. And we'll gain a damage token from the Pigwidgeon, which will give us three. We'll assign all three, which will do two damage to us from the Common Welsh Green, but it will kill it, which because we killed it, we get a dollar for the Clean Sweep 11. All heroes gain two dollars because of the Common Welsh Green. And now Ron has two, four, six, seven dollars. He'll be able to buy seven dollars worth of items this turn, which is going to be the Monster Book of Monsters and the Essence of Dittany. Which means once uh, we've done that, in this turn we can acquire with so the required value of items of seven and one turn. We'll be able to give this once per game. We discard this to roll any two Hogwarts house dice. So he can use that to discard and roll two dice um, when we need to. I know I haven't been doing the Patronus here, but I could at some point. I just haven't done it this time yet. We've lost that creature. Let's refill that. If we have lace wing flies, which I don't got, don't think I got last game. Any one hero draws a card. If you discard this, gain a damage token. So you can just give someone the ability to draw a card. It could be the other player, not just you. New villain to come out is the Cornish Pixies. For each card in hand with an even value, active hero loses two health. Okay, Harry's turn. Now we need to draw back up for Ron. Okay, and Harry's turn. Like I said. Most Mordray is going to do one damage to each of us, which is going to stun Ron. So we're going to have to put one for Most Mordray, one for that. Active Hero loses. We're going to do all the way down, so both characters are going to be stunned. Here he's going to lose his two dollars. We don't get to add any more because we can't add any more. We don't have to add any more at that point. I'm going to lose both of my Aloha Mora cards for him, and two Aloha Mora cards for Ron. Nothing else is going to matter because no other damage is going to be possible. We both gotten stunned the same round. Draw two cards, then choose one. Discard any card or banish a card in your hand. So we will discard uh, Mobulus. It's one. I need four damage, which I'm not going to be able to do. I don't think one, two, three. It's possible. So I have to discard Reparo. Because Ginny Weasel is going to let me get a damage token and a money. Mobilis is going to let me get a damage token. Luna is going to let me get a money. Uh, don't get the damage token for playing an item, so I didn't play an item this turn, but I get to roll the Ravenclaw die. To card, so we'll draw a card. Any hero gains three health, which doesn't help, we'll get to draw another card. We also need to draw a card for Ron. And it's a dollar, so I was not going to be able to get rid of him. The problem is now um, what we're going to have is we're going to lose that location. Okay, three dollars. We'll buy the lace wing flies. So this looks to be the beginning of the end already, very early on, losing this first location. Because what's going to happen now is we're going to go to the next location, which is the dragon area, and we're going to be drawing two cards per turn, and I don't think we're going to be able to come back from that. We also, I didn't even say, if the active hero does not have an ally in hand, we add a token to the location, which we did have an ally that time, I didn't say it. Um, and to complete to complete this, we have to buy two allies in one turn. Um, this is the second task, the mermaid and the Grindelow. I, I just think that we're going to lose pretty soon and pretty badly, um, if I have to be honest. Uh, drawing two cards is very detrimental or this early in the game. The fact that we have to have an ally in our hand um, and we still have so many starter cards in our decks 
Um, thankfully, we drew uh, an ally for Ron, or excuse me, for Harry, but Ron doesn't have one. So we're going to start off Ron's turn with taking that. They're both back up to 10 because they were stunned, but he takes two damage. Flip another card over. Add a, next hero loses two, so Harry loses two. Add a token to the location. When we add a token to the location, Draco's going to hit us for two damage. Active hero does not have an ally, which we don't. We add a token to the location, which does two damage. Have discarding cards. If I have a value of even, which I do, I lose two health because of the Cornish Pixies. And pretty much, like I said, this is pretty much the end of the game here in the next 15 minutes. Um, this is going to be a short video. I will show you all the other cards, um, the different uh, counters, and uh, of course, the monsters that come in this box and Voldemort. But uh, you might skip ahead because this is going to be pretty brutal, I think. Um, one, two, three money for Ron currently. And two more money from Owls. I played two or more spells, so I get one health and one damage. That one damage has to go to Draco. He's still one away from being defeated, though. Um, so I have five money. I can't acquire two allies this turn, of course. That's just not going to happen. But I'm going to have to get this um, promo card to get that four money to maybe be able to get enough money to buy two allies. Again, there's not even two allies out right now, and you don't refill this until the beginning of the next round. So it's it's going to be impossible for us to get them unless I can get, at this point, $10 in one round with only those two showing to be able to defeat that. Otherwise, I'm going to keep getting hit. And with Draco present, he's going to have power off of that. Now, I've luckily drawn an ally for Ron, but that isn't always going to happen. So it's Harry's turn. The first of his cards is, all heroes discard any damage or money tokens they've collected. That is the um, Leprechaun Gold card. So basically all the Leprechaun Gold disappears, and that's what happens to your tokens if you have any. The second card we're drawing, oh, well, I shuffled, of course. I did shuffle, but with this many cards, they do stick together potentially. So that's the second one there. Do I have an ally? I do have an ally. I haven't discarded any cards. Is anything an even cost? Yes, two of my cards are even cost. So that's one, two, three, four damage um, that I've taken just from these Cornish Pixies, and they're very, very detrimental to me. Um, one, two, money. Got a Firebolt, which is a damage token, which I'll apply to Draco to get rid of him. And since I defeated a villain, I get a money from the Firebolt. And I remove a token from the location. When I do that, all heroes can get a health back from Harry's power. I have Argus Filch and Mrs. Norris. Draw two cards, then choose one. Discard any one card or banish a card. I want to discard an Aloha Mora because I can't banish it. I was hoping to draw detention so I could banish it, but I didn't. I'm going to get one money from that, and I get to play Hogwarts of History. I'm going to draw or roll the Ravenclaw, which is going to let me draw a card and also give Ron a card. That gives me one more money, and Ron needs to shuffle before he can draw. I currently have two, four, five money. I think I'm going to have to... By Accio. I'd want to leave the allies so I can buy them to do that. Because if I don't leave the allies to be able to be purchased, I can't purchase, purchase them, of course. Um, we'll refill these, and we have the Chinese Fireball. Reveal an additional Dark Arts event each turn. So now I'm going to be revealing three Dark Arts event cards. And this is going to be out for six turns, because I can't spend more than one dollar per character per turn on each uh, creature. So it's for six turns, I'm going to be drawing three Dark Arts cards. So now that that's come out, I definitely am behind the eight ball in accordance to trying to win. And of course, Harry did not draw any allies. So he's going to take, um, put to, I have to add that there. Now the good thing is I don't have to take damage because Draco's gone, but I don't see this as being that great. So first is one card. Lose all of our tokens. So the, le the Leprechaun Gold really did stick together. Sorry about that. Active Hero chooses another hero to lose two. Harry's going to lose two, but reveal additional. All heroes choose one, discard an ally, or lose two health. Um, we can't discard an ally for Harry, so he loses, uh, actually he loses one each, because he had his, um, that. So he lost one from something earlier, and he loses that one there. I'm not going to discard a card, so I'll just take a damage there, so I'll take two damage for that. Do I have any even card valued stuff? Um, let's see, we have one, two, um, so that two will be, sorry, I turned my notifications off of my phone. I had a text coming, sorry about that. Um, I'll be stunned. I'm going to have to get rid of three cards, two of them being Aloha Moros and one of them being Chocolate Frog. Have to add a token to the location because we got stunned. 
And we do have allies, so we will do that. Discarding, even values we did. Um, and here we are with reveal another Dark Arts events card. Add a token to the location from the he who must not be named. So we're going to choose to take a damage token and remove a token from a location, which is going to give each of our characters one health. We're already stunned, so that doesn't help us here, but it does help Harry. So that's the one like that. I'll take another damage token from that. I'll take two damage tokens and one money. The one money is going to be useless, but I do have four damage tokens to put on the Corner Pixies. And that one money that I had is not, it's not useless. I'll put it here on the Fireball um, in order to just make sure that we can do that currently. So that's all we have. Um, we're gonna draw back up. Hopefully we get something, got a lot of money. Maybe we'll be able to buy enough of those guys to do that. We'll see. But first we start with Harry. All heroes lose a health for each creature. Well, we have two, so we lose two health each. Um, but each card can't do more than one because of this. So I'll take one damage now. The second Dark Arts card is active hero puts a detention in their hand. Then all heroes lose a health for all detentions in hand. He's going to have one in his hand, so he takes one damage. If the active hero does not have any allies, which I don't, add a token to the location. Haven't discarded any cards. I do, I do have one, two cards that have value of that. Um, but... It says, if this is in your hand, you can't lose more than one health from each Dark Arts event or villain. It's a creature, so I take all that damage. So I have been stunned. I have to draw another Dark Arts event card. Active Hero loses one health and discards all items. So first I was stunned. So I don't know that's coming, but I will discard the detention, the uh, Aloha Mort, and the Priori and Cantata, most likely, because those were kind of useless then I would lose, discard all items. So I would basically lose all my items at that point. So I would have nothing in my hand um, due to all those things that just happened. No money, nothing in hand. That's my whole turn. Go back up to 10 and draw five more cards. Uh, got a detention in my hand, but I do have an ally, which is at least something. It's Ron's turn. The first card is all heroes choose one, discard a spell or lose two health. We don't want to discard spells because of that, so we might as well lose the two health. Second card, all heroes that have three or more spells in hand, which I do lose a health, uh, no for Harry. If the active hero does not have an ally, which I don't, you gotta token to the location. I haven't discarded, do I have anything that's even value? Yes, I have two of them that are even value, so for each of those, I lose one, two, three, four. So I'm down to one health, now we reveal another Dark Arts card. For each card with a value four or more in your hand, which I have one, two, I lose a health, so I get stunned again. Put the token there. I have to discard down. I'll discard two Alohomoras. We have the Eye of Rabbit, which I can't lose a health to gain because I'm stunned. I have two money, and I have one money. You can banish a card in your hand if it's an item, draw a card. So I have one, two, three money, a damage token, and a heart, which I don't get anything from. The damage token will go here. I'm going to put one of the monies there. Um, I have two dollars. I'll buy the Essence of Dittany, I guess. And we're going to go on to the next location, because I quickly am moving through these locations, getting stunned. And also these extra Dark Arts cards that are being drawn. So these go off. We're going to go to the next location, which is going to only have us draw two, thankfully, but it's the Mermaid Village. So thankfully, it still stays at two, but obviously the next one's going to be um, three, and we'll have that deal with. And we actually have to get rid of this Chinese Fireball, because otherwise they're going to have to keep drawing three anyway. So first one for Harry is active hero loses a health and discards a card. Well, I just lose a health. Now i got to discard a card to lose another health. So I will just have to lose the Alohomora. My second card. All heroes choose one. Discard an item or lose two health. Well, I'm going to lose two health because I'm going to lose a, a health anyway because of Crab and Goyle. Do I have any allies? I do have allies. Discarding how many of these cost even? One of them, so I lose two more health. Draw additional Dark Arts card. For each card with the value of four or more in hand, which I have one, lose a health. Um, so all of these things keep building on themselves, and I really aren't, am not able to do anything anymore in this game. Um, the game's pretty much over, I'm just going to keep finishing it and playing it out, but it's very, very quickly getting out of hand. So I might as well um, try to get rid of this corner space, which is going to two, four, five, it needs one more damage, so I'm going to take the health from Hedwig, the one money and one damage from Jenny, to put it on the corner pixies, which all heroes gain two, and uh, money.
apply one of those to the Chinese firewall because I don't need to do that. Now Reparo, I have one dollar currently. I could get two and be able to buy Confundus. I might as well do that because I don't know what I want to draw if I try to draw cards. It would have been an Immobilus, which is pretty good, but I didn't know that. So let's shuffle our cards. At least we don't have any uh, tokens on the Mermaid Village yet, but that's going to be coming soon because we're going to get stunned again pretty quickly, I'm sure. So we've drawn back up. It is now going to be Ron's number. First we have the Boggart, which the Boggart is out, and we have to roll the die for that. And we have a Butterbeer. So for Ron's turn, our first of these is Active Hero loses one health and cannot assign more than one damage to each villain this turn. Second card. Add two tokens to the location, because that means the fight or flight has come out. So the two tokens go there. Do I have any allies? I do not. We add a token to the location. Haven't discarded anything. Now we roll the monster die for the buffer, which is two. Active hero discards two cards. And by discarding two cards, oh, that's a creature. It's not a villain, so I'm okay there. So I discard two cards. It'll be the Alohomora and Birdie Bots. Now I have to reveal an additional Dark Arts card. All heroes with the lowest health, which is Harry, lose two health. Essence of Dittany will give Harry his two health back. We'll have two money from our owls, which is that's all it's going to do for us. And then our book of monsters is going to give us a damage token, and we get to roll the monster die at least. With the monster die being rolled a uh, lightning bolt, I get to get a damage token. So I can only assign one to each thing, so we'll do that. We'll assign a dollar to the Boggart and to the Chinese Fireball. My one dollar goes away. And that's all for Ron's turn. We'll draw back up. And what do we have? Not a whole lot going for us. All right, it is Harry's turn. All heroes put a detention in the discard pile. So there's that at least, right? I'm gonna flip those over because I keep confusing it with my hand if I don't, so that's why I keep doing that. Um, the second card, add a token to the location. Thanks, Voldemort. If I have allies, which I do have an ally, so we're okay there, discard. I get to roll the, that active hero discards two cards. Alohomora and I uh, think I want to do the det detention and take the damage. Uh, then we reveal another Dark Arts card. All heroes put a detention card in a discard pile, so that's even better. Clogging up our hands and decks with those now. We have a Mobulus. Uh, one damage if you defeat a creature, also remove one um, token the location. Well, we're not going to defeat any creatures this time because I can't do them because of the money that requires them to stay out for too long. But we'll take one more damage token from the Firebolt. Take a money and a damage token because I played an item from Luna and we get to roll the Ravenclaw die. Get to draw another card. It's gonna be Filch, which is not bad, but it's a little late in the turn. Draw two cards, then choose, discard one card, or banish. Um, I'm gonna discard the Reparo and use the Bezoar to gain three health. We'll put this one money onto the Chinese Fireball and put the four damage onto do I want to do it on crab and goyle I think I do so I can give him a good turn so all here is going to draw a card fun this one damage token if you assign at least one damage to each villain also remove a token from the location where well, I can't do that because not all of them even take damage so fun this doesn't really help uh, oh to each villain I did to each villain so that does work because it's not a villain, it's a creature. So I will take one of those away, which is going to give a health back to each of our characters. Uh, don't have anything else I can do. Didn't have any more money. So that's all for him. Five. And we'll get a new villain, which is the Hungarian Horn Tail, which is a 10 health. Other villains and creatures may not be assigned damage. So you have to do damage to it before you can do damage to anything else which means the Boggart cannot be killed until this is killed. Um, but I do have to do the Chinese Fireball before too long. The reward is I have to roll the Monster Die and remove Anna Token from a location. Okay, we've got 
first card, active hero discards a card, then puts a detention in their hand. Discard our Aloha Mora and put a detention card in their hand. Second card, active hero loses two health. If it active hero doesn't have any allies, which I don't, we put a token on the location. Other hero uh, villains can be done. Okay, we gotta roll the monster die. Discard two cards again, keep rolling that. So let's do an Aloha Mora and a detention to take two damage. We're going additional dark arts. Dementor Kiss, lose two health, and the other player loses one. The Chocolate Frog, any here, oh, let's actually not discard this detention. I forgot the Chocolate Frog. If you discard this, gain one health and one money. I forgot about the Chocolate Frog with discard ability. One damage token from our clean sweep. Um, we will take a damage and get four money. We will get two more money from our um, owls. Two, four. Yeah, I think that's right. Now we have the attention. But I think what we're going to do now is, for once per game, we discard this to roll any two Hogwarts house die. Now two, four, six, out of seven dollars. I think I'm going to roll the Ravenclaw die, which is going to give us both health. And I'm going to roll the Slytherin die, I guess. It's going to give us both a damage token. Not the outcome I wanted for that, but that's okay. So the two damage I will put on, of course, the Hungarian Horntail, because it's the only one I can do damage to. Put one to get rid of this Chinese Fireball, which lets me roll the die and remove the token from the location. When I remove the token from the location, get one health back for each of my characters because of Harry. But the monster die gets to be rolled. Get to draw two cards. That's what we were hoping for. So Harry got to draw a couple of cards, but so does Ron, and Ron gets two more dollars. So Ron currently has two, four, six, eight dollars. Fortunately, that's not enough to buy both of these characters, because that's what we wanted to do, was to buy two allies this turn. Fortunately, I wasn't able to do so. So with my eight bucks, I will buy Butterbeer and Descendo. Almost had enough to buy, but there's just not enough cards out there. The good thing is now, hopefully we'll get two more allies out. Nope, and a six cost ally, which is too too expensive anyway. The next villain that's gonna come out is the Grindelow, which is also new for this box. We'll see what it says real quick. It says, if the active hero has two or more allies in hand, add a token to the location. So I wanna have allies, but I can't have two allies. So it's very, very tricky, um, really goes against each other. You want to have one ally, but not two. Again, that makes th sense thematically because of the Triwizard Tournament. But thematically and the ability to play the game well, it's two different things. So the first card for Harry is, if Harry loses two and cannot gain health this turn. Or excuse me, all loot heroes. Um, Avada Kedavra. Oh, actually I have my uh, visibility click again. It takes three damage, but it's only one. We've got an additional card. All heroes lose three, but I only lose one, but that does still do three damage to Ron. Do I have any allies in my hand? Of course I don't. Other villains can't be assigned money, or damage, excuse me, and I'm gonna roll that. I have to discard two cards. I keep rolling that. I'm gonna roll again and see if that's what I get. Okay, well, discard two cards. Let's do two of my Aloha Moors, I guess. I don't have two or more allies at least, so that's okay there. So a little more than one dollar. Accio, two or search or discard power for an item and put it in your hand. Do I have any items that I want to put into my hand? Don't want to put the detentions in my hand, that's for sure. Bezoar, Firebolt. The Bezoar is not bad, so let's do the Bezoar. So instead of Accio getting money, I'll use it to get the Bezoar. I'll copy the Accio to get the two money from it with my Priori and Cantatum. Visibility Cloak gives me a dollar, and the Bezoar I'm going to use to draw a card, I think. It's another Alohomora. The damage is going to have to go on the Hungarian Horntail. I'll put a money onto the Boggart. I have four dollars remaining. 
I'm gonna buy the Quidditch gear. So I don't wanna buy any of these allies in the case that I can finally get 10 money and be able to buy the allies in the future to get rid of that. But we'll see if that ever is gonna happen. Seems like it's gonna be a very difficult thing to accomplish. Did not draw back up for Ron. All right, Ron's turn. All heroes reveal a top card from their deck. Reveal a card with no value, discard it and lose a health. That has no value, I discard it and lose a health. Harry reveals Ginny, so she's fine there. Do I have any allies in my hand for Ron? I do. And we roll the that. Okay, so that means we remove one token or money from all creatures. So we'll remove a and or, so we have to remove both from the boggart, which is even worse, so it got healed twice. And I don't have two more allies, we're okay there. I have two Alohomoras, which is two money for Ron. Two health for Harry. I think Ron's gonna get done anyway. Um, Pigwidgeon, let's take a damage token. And for each ally, our birdie bot's gonna give us another damage token. We'll sign both of those damage tokens again to the Hungarian Horror Tale. We have to put a money onto the Boggart. And with our $2 remaining, we'll buy our Turgio to hopefully get rid of some of those stinking, stinking detention cards. Five. Uh, not too shabby of a hand, and it's now Harry's turn. Vodakadavra, lose three health. One, two, three, reveal an additional card. Active hero loses, choose another player to lose two. Well, that stuns Ron, so we put a token. He discards down. And we reveal another one, so we flipped over three cards for just one. Atfira puts a detention in their hand, and all heroes lose one for each detention, so Harry's going to lose a health. Now our second Dark Arts card. Same thing, he's going to lose two health because of that now. Now we roll the Boggart card, putting a token on the location, I believe. Add a token to the location. So now we are at max tokens, and do I have two allies? No, I only had one, so at least I didn't have to add anything for that. Not that it matters because we're maxed out anyway. Two detentions in my hand, which are useless. Any one hero draws a card. If you discard this, gain a damage. Alohomora, Alohomora is to money. Let's do Hogwarts of History and roll the Ravenclaw die. It's money, but we'll re-roll it. It's health. That was a waste. Um, next we'll have Hedwig. I guess we'll take the two health. Any hero draws a card. Um, we'll have... Ron draw a card, and I'll put one money onto the bugger. And that is the turn for Harry. He's gonna draw back up. Very, very extremely unfortunate events that have happened. The game's gone a lot longer than I thought it was going to at this point, but I'm not really getting anywhere as far as completion um, because we've just lost our location, and this is going to be the end of it. When this location is revealed, remove one damage and one money from all creatures. So one damage, one damage, one money. So the Boggart's still not going to go anywhere. And each turn reveal three dark arts. This is the Triwizard Maze. So we're revealing three cards now. This is pretty much the end of the game. Um, you'll just see it kind of complete right now, but we'll see what happens. All heroes lose one health for each card with a value of exactly three. That's at least one for Harry, because I see it on top right there, so that's one. We have none for Ron, our second card. Take one damage. Okay, he would us back to that and reveal another one. So we're still on our second card. I lose two from that. Now our third card. Lose a health and add a token. I have an ally, so we're at least okay on that um, case there. Can't assign, roll this. Remove a damage and a money from all characters. I don't have two, so we're at least okay there. Specto Patronum is going to let us remove that and give each of us one health back because of Harry's power, and I get a damage token, which is good. Gonna get another damage token from my Book of Monsters, and I get to roll a monster die. Each of us draws a card, which means I have to shuffle for Ron, and Harry draws a detention card. So Harry's not getting any help from any of the drawing, that's for sure. And let's see if Ron gets any help from the draw. 
draw is an Alohomora, so not really. We've got another Owls. We play two more spells, so I'm going to get two money and a damage token and a health back. And Sirius is going to give us two more damage tokens and a money. So one of those money she's going to go on the Boggart. I have five damage tokens. I'm going to apply all of them to the Hungarian Horntail. It's at seven damage right now. I'm going to be able to give each of the characters one health back. But that's all I can do. The three money that I have, um, we will not be able to buy anything with. So we'll just dump that. Draw back up. One, two, three, four, five. Two detention cards in my hand. That's just awful. It's Harry's turn. The first of three. Add a token to the location. Second card. Roll the Slytherin die. All heroes lose a health. Third card. Add a token to the location and all heroes lose a health. I uh, do have one ally and four detention cards. Um, can assign, roll the die. And of course it's going to heal. And I don't have two. So basically we have one, two damage tokens, which will apply here, and one money, which will apply here. Two, four, six, eight. We're two away from killing him. But not have to do anything else. That's the end of Harry's turn. One, two, three, four, five. And we've got a good mix. We do have an ally, which is good there. But we don't have any allies for Ron. Ron's first card. All heroes put a tension card in their discard pile. So even more detention cards are going to go into the decks. Number two. Vodka Diver lose three health and reveal an additional. Still on card number two. Most Mordre. Take a damage, take a damage, put a token. And now our third card, roll the Slytherin die. All heroes lose one health. Okay, I do have an, don't have an ally, so I have to add a token. Can't do damage, rolling the Boggart. That is, all heroes lose one health, so Harry is stunned, which adds a token. And Harry has to discard down, so he's gonna discard two of his Alohomoras. Back up to 10. It's Ron's turn. Aloha Mora for one. Any two heroes gain a money and a health, so at least we'll get two money and a health, and Harry will get a money. Uh, the other is an Aloha Mora, and that's all I've got. One of those dollars is going to have to go on the bogger just to make sure we can get rid of it. No other damage can be done. That's all we have. And we draw back up. Pretty much all spells, and most of them are Aloha Moras. So, not great hand for Ron. Remove two from all villains. So that just, uh, villains. So he's not a villain, he's a creature. Number two, active hero loses one health and reveal an additional card. All heroes lose one health and cannot draw extra cards. So, can't draw extra cards. And our third, active hero loses one, add a token to the location. So we're one token away from losing the game from that. I do have an ally. We will roll this. Lightning Bolt, all heroes lose one health, which stuns Ron, which means he's going to discard down, which means we have to put a token onto the location, which means if Harry can't get rid of one of those tokens, the game is over. And he is not going to be able to do so, I don't believe, because this guy has six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage done to him. Get one more from Hedwig. Hogwarts of History is going to be rolled. I have to roll the Slytherin in hopes that I can get the damage token, which I did, which is going to be enough to kill it, and give a damage token for Ron's turn. So that is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I do take care of the Hungarian Horntail, which is something at least. And remove one token. I get to get a health back. He's already at full. And we get to roll that, which is going to be another damage token, which I'll apply to the Boggart. Give one to him. So at least we were able to do that. The problem is that's all we have for Harry's turn. And we're going to draw the Swedish Short Snout. We have to roll the Hufflepuff die. Uh, it's going to heal back our bad guys. Um, wow. And it's going to take the, at least six turns because it takes money to get rid of. Again, these um, creatures that cost money to get rid of and they can only be done one at a time each round, 
is just heartbreaking. And again, we still haven't gotten rid of the second encounter, much less anything else in this game. Um, it's now Harry, or it's now Ron's turn, and this might be the end of the game, but we'll see. All heroes lose one health and cannot draw extra cards. All heroes reveal the top card of their deck. If they reveal a spell, discard it and lose two. That is not a spell. That is a spell, so it has to be discarded. And Harry's going to lose two health. The third card is add the token and all heroes lose one health. Do I have allies? No, but I can't add tokens, so that's fine. Now we roll the Huff Puff die. The Huff Puff die is the card. All heroes put a detention in their hand. Great. Then we roll a monster die. Heart. Remove a token and a thing from guys. I didn't have any allies, so that doesn't happen. But the problem here is I have two damage tokens. One, two money. Two money, I'll put one of the money there. The two damage tokens plus the two that I had there is four. If I hadn't rolled the healing, I could have taken out that, which only would have let me roll this, which still would not have let me save the game. We still lose. So we've lost here. The Triwizard Maze was overrun. And let me just show you the other cards that came in here. So I'm going to just show you when that one got, that one got a bit dinged up in packaging. Um, uh, Death Eater was already in the game. Uh, the Mermaid, yeah, the Mermaid got really damaged, so I might ask for a new, a new card of that, because that's, that is not from play. I literally just opened these, so that's been water damaged or something. That's really bad. Anyway, the Mermaid, um, what it does, it costs five money. Heroes cannot gain damage or money from allies, which is just heartbreaking. Um, it's very, I can't stress enough how difficult this game has become with this expansion. And in some ways, I feel like it's its not fun is how difficult it's gotten. Some games are, are fun when they become difficult, and some games just are just crazy. But this game was already difficult, and, and this, this stack of cards, um, I needed to have bought two allies in one turn. Well, there's Seamus, who's three, but he was a, he's a promo card. Um, most allies, there's Fang, which I could have maybe gotten him or one of the, the Weasley brothers, but they're four or five each. Um, Gilderoy is two, but again, how many cards did I have to get through to be able to get to those cards? Um, it's very hard to determine if you're going to be able to draw the cards that you need and then be able to pay for them. So if I don't draw them, I just can't do it. I needed ten money to be able to get rid of this encounter. This encounter, if I would have gotten rid of it, would have gone to the last one, which is the third task. Active hero loses two health every turn until I get three heart tokens on here. And the reward for it is once per game, you may discard this, then all heroes return to maximum health. So I could give them back to maximum, but in, in this game, you're, you're, taking, you're taking so much damage, it's, it kind of goes back down pretty quickly. The final thing that came in this box, and the last thing that we're going to talk about here, is Lord Voldemort. Um, the final Voldemort that we would have in the game currently, and you're actually supposed to use him from now on. Active hero loses two health. Add a token to the location. Each time a hero is stunned, an additional to the location. May not be assigned until, of course, you've gotten rid of everything else in front of it. It takes seven turns to get rid of him. Once you're able to have him solo, you still have to survive for seven turns, because you can only add one money per round as you add money. You can't do more than that. So 25 damage, seven turns once he's by himself, which is very hard to get to. I feel like that the rule that it's money can only be done one at a time um, is crazy. Now, what this does say is creature played on a creature each turn, which means technically Voldemort is not a creature. You could, in theory, do that all in one round, which then makes the purpose of it very weird that you would be able to do that all in one round. If the rule is you can do it all at once, then why does it exist on him? Because it's very easy at the end of the game. If it's the only thing left, why are you buying cards? You're going to spend all your money to get rid of him. If it is meant to make this last seven turns, then it should have the word creature on him, but it doesn't. So I don't understand that rule and how to how to use it for Lord Voldemort. But suffice it to say, this game has gotten bloated, it has gotten too big, and it needs to be a pick and choose what goes in this deck. This deck should be a certain number of cards. It should not be 
this stack of cards. I'm telling you, there are hundreds of cards in here, and a lot of them aren't great, and you can't get to them or through them very quickly. So this is the thickness of a card, um, and that's how many cards are in here. Um, and I've taken some of them out because they're in the deck and everything else. So, I mean, almost a full um, regular card's thickness worth of cards in this deck. I, I don't know how many cards are in the game, um, I'm sure I could figure that out at some point for you if you needed me to, and if you ask, I'll, I'll see if I can count them for you. There's hundreds. Um, any game that has hundreds of cards that you are randomized going through, yet the bad guys aren't randomized, and the dark arts are difficult, none of them are really easy dark arts, they're all hard dark arts, it's a very difficult game, and I don't know if it's skill or if it's luck that lets you win these harder versions of the game. There's a couple of things I could have done differently maybe in this game, but once you lose that first location, it's over. Um, and that's pretty much the way it's been every time I've ever played this game. But I hope you enjoyed watching. That's the Monster Box. If you felt like the regular game, the games 1 through 7, were too easy, I suggest you buy the Monster Box. But be prepared for it to take you multiple, multiple playthroughs for you to be able to beat them. And once you beat them, I fear that you're not going to want to go back and play them again. Now that it has everything in here, I will tell you what the suggestion is to play the game once you've gotten all of this stuff unlocked. And it suggests that you, you randomize the encounters and get one, two, and three. So you get all the ones together, all the twos together, all the three together, the, the levels of the encounters, shuffle them and get random ones. And then get whatever the encounter says on it, make sure you have them in the deck. Um, that one wasn't a good one, but this Mermaid and Grendolo. So like, make sure you have the Mermaid and Grendolo in the deck as part of your building and then have 15 total creatures and villains in there. And also always use the Lord Voldemort from this game. If you want, they also have an epic way of playing, which is to have four locations, the castle gates, and the four locations in this box, which makes it, basically what that means is you're going to have two locations that are going to give you one card each at a time, which is a way of them saying, I think, that it's going to be too hard to do that. Um, but you stack them up, place three random selected encounters on top of the thing, have the last Voldemort and all the Voldemorts before him, and you have to do the, the Horcruxes as well. Um, I think that would just lead to a four-hour game of Harry Potter. This was an hour-long game, and I got beat very quickly, very early. Um, we had a lot of bad guys left to go through. With as blood as it gets, it becomes a very long game. And I'm playing this solo quickly with two characters. I think this game could be a very long game if you're not careful. So I think you should give it a try. I think if you like the monsters and you like the cards and stuff, you want to see more of those cards, you should buy the Monsters Box expansion. But again, keep in mind, it is very difficult. It is almost too difficult. And it's probably something that I will house rule to start whittling down what's in this deck just so I can actually get cards that are useful. Um, it's just too often that nothing gets going to come out. The detention cards are a neat idea. I'm glad that they added in the cards that let you banish cards because of them. But you're not banishing any of your regular cards. You're only using them to banish these because these come in so frequently and the banished cards are so infrequent to get. What it becomes is I'm only getting the banishing cards to banish detention. I'm not banishing the crappy cards out of my deck. I'm not getting rid of Aloha Mora. I'm not getting rid of the stuff that could make my game easier in the long run. So because of that, um, I'm just thinking you, you should keep that in mind. Maybe not use the detention cards. I'm not really sure how to do it with all the different added stuff that they do. But yeah, that's I think they added some good mechanics. I think the being able to banish is great. I don't think it's necessarily... I don't think it made it a great game. I think it was a very good game before that, and you just had to get over the fact you couldn't banish anything. Now that they added it, I think they added too much in addition to that to make that worthwhile. Hope you enjoyed playing or my playing it, and I'll have some more games for you to watch soon. Thanks for watching.